Hey guys, how are you doing? So we're here with Sebastian. How you doing guys? The band himself came to visit me. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while since he was here. We've met a bunch of times now. We've, since the last visit, we were at the Blade Show. Yeah, Jeff a uh, bunch of times. We were at the, actually only once I think at the Jeff since then, since the last visit. Yeah. Right before the Blade Show, we, we were there all together. Yeah, you're right. And I wasn't there since then. I don't want to see Jeff, I'm sick of him. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, no, probably I'm thinking Sunday. We'll see Sunday what what we have planned. We'll see what we're doing this weekend. Maybe we'll go for the barbecue Saturday and then Sunday, or I don't know. We'll see. All right. We're thinking. We're trying to think of something with Sebastian here, local, without having to drive two and a half hours. But you going sun Sunday? Yeah, probably Sunday. I do. I'm thinking. I'll Saturday probably I'll probably ride with you or something. Yeah, we'll come see. with me. See what the better half says if she would. If she would want to go, I would want to go with the car, so I can take this baby there and have some fun. Because I don't really want to take a subway ride with this in the backpack <laughs> to Sebastian and then drive to Pennsylvania. He brought some stuff, couple pieces. So what is this? This you said this was for a long time one of your most favorite knives, and you still like it, right? Yeah, definitely. What is it? It's the Benjamin 710 McHenry Williams. 710. It's too big for me. You know what's funny? I notice, mm. like, opening is no problem. But when my in my like grip, I I can <laughs> my hand is so small that I have a hard time to reach for the axis lock. So yeah, I pull out the knife, right? Pull out the knife and flick it open. And right now I can just like barely reach the axis lock to close it. Like, no, you. Can't. I would. It's it's kind of it's kind of far. It's kind of far for me in that it's really big knife. <laughs> it really is big. I don't know when you compare. Compare. I like because when it's closed, it's actually very concealable. Like it's very small. It's slim so like it's and not I do, really yeah. much like. Not yeah, the, yeah. Than Sebastian pointed out before. If that, you if you like compare the, it with the. Yeah, you know, that's true. Like, yeah, everything. but this is like the Batman knife. <laughs> this is gigantic, funky handle. And then you have a very long reach, four-inch blade. Yeah, it is. I a, do like that. It's, it's elegant. I like. I really like that. How slim it is, how slim line it is. I like slim lines. The other lines. thing what I like, you know, New York City carry, you throw it without the you know, pocket clip on it. Uh -huh. And I like the full backspacer because if I throw it and I have change or keys, usually they, they hit thing, my yeah. blade in my blade, yeah. That's the other That's thing that true. I really like. Yeah, the full backspacer, as, as much as on the folders I love the standoffs design just by look wise, the full backspacer is better because it's more comfortable. I noticed very often when I was testing, when I was doing the test videos and everything with the folding knives and when you like do the, the performance test, like how it's it cuts, cutting. when you hard cut, this just, it hurts so bad you in your finger, it, yeah. like no matter how comfortable you, you try to make it on the inside, it just, you feel it, when you squeeze that knife, your skin goes there and it hurts, so it is better. But for some reason, even the frame, like I designed the frame like with the standoffs, <laughs> just I love it better. Love it better. It's kind of. Yeah, some people I think it's a little it looks nicer, and people say like, oh, it's easier to clean it. But yeah, I, and I think it's also it's easier to make that. You know, it's easier to just put the standoff in the construction than actually you know messing around with the backspace. You know, you have to fit it in there, make sure that the insides are good. So it is easier to make with the standoffs. But yeah, I mean, for the use, the backspacer is better. Definitely. What else did you bring? This guy I really, really like. You got this at the Blade Show, right? Yes. Yeah, I remember right. And the other one you had before already, right? The the little spear point. Yeah, I had. That one you had. I had no, I have it actually on the same thing on the Blade Show, but that I know it was coming to me. Oh, you didn't I didn't have know it? this oh, one. Oh no, Brian had it, right? Brian yeah, had Brian the spear had point. It, yeah. yeah, that's where I seen it. JB Blunt, JB Blunt, right? Yeah. Yes. That's a damn cool looking knife. That's actually his collaboration with the with the Chad Alpha Hunter tactical design. Oh, that's Alpha that's Hunter. The collaboration. Yeah, Alpha Hunter yeah. collaboration. You even see the logo on the on the other side. You see the both logos there. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, I love this. Like a sheep's foot blade. Called it's the Predator. That's fitting. Super. It, it's comfortable. It would make. I would move this for my little fingers. A little different. But you know, if I if I squeeze in it, it's, it's it feels good in the hand. And when you go back here, you just have a lot of ridge and a very comfortable handle. When you put when you put your two fingers here, man, nice chamfering all around. You know, like he knocks off the corners everywhere. 
very interesting kind of like I would say it's like a signature look to him no he does a lot of these on, on him what I, when finished. I talked to Chad he told me that actually came out and he saw like the the predator when they have the skin or whatever it is on the uh, predator he tried to mimic that uh -huh. because of the name of the predator it's cool and you get the Sebastian sent his like little spear point version what's the name of that actually the, the little uh, the search search yeah. so he sent that one he did with the plane handles and he sent it for to get this this kind of same finish but then all the flats are like sudden finish it looks really damn cool in the picture i seen the picture ship today I it looks i like that you know so you have that like gray grooves same like this but then all the flats are like really nice and shiny sudden finish titanium i like that it's a really nice knife the grinds are like freaking perfect on this the edge bevel is like super perfect the the grinds are super perfect clients line it's like this is really really skilled knife maker really cool he's pretty new too and he makes he? really yeah like i don't know like around two years or something like damn. that damn man i'm really in the, behind in the, in the folders and oh but I mean, was he making knives before he was, he was making yeah he was making fixed blades and oh okay that makes me feel better. <laughs> I'm like, damn, it's two years and making knives and already making this. Yeah, he's, st he's still a part-time knife maker. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful knife. I like this a lot. I kind of wish it, they would make like s just a s sh little smaller version. It's for me. It's for small because it's a little too big for me. But I love the shape. I love how it feels. Love how it functions. Man, beautiful knife. And this one is cool. You like this, huh? Yeah, I love it actually. It's one of the that. one of the big knives that actually grew on me. Totally not my, wasn't my thing, but now it is. So. Dalibor. Bergen, Dalibor, yeah. The guy from Croatia, actually. I remember this guy like probably a year ago. He started making these like uh, I don't know. If it wasn't pr I, it wasn't this model. It was the yeah. It was a serious si and regular. So Regu like those yeah, two. those two, and. All of them had the same kind of. You look at the knife, you see, you clearly see the maker, like very signature look to it, everything from the design to the finish and everything. And I wasn't crazy about those. Those are a little more simple, a little more more straightforward, straight lines. But this knife is, man, it's a damn cool looking knife. Look at that, look at that finish. Really thick stack. That looks like, like quarter. Stuff. Is it it's quarter like, or like is it? Compared to the Benchmade class. Look at it. <laughs> is it quarter or is it under oh, quarter? It's three sixteenths or quarter. But no, that's definitely not three sixteenths. No, this is probably quarter. I have a ruler here. Let's see. I'm pretty sure this is a quarter. Actually, you're just under quarter. So this is most likely point two two, point two two. They're one size under quarter, but it's beefy. It feels good in the hand. This is a really cool pocket clip. This is a similar concept of a pocket clip that what I'm thinking about doing on. I'm thinking about it. it's already planned. It's already being water jet cut. It's uh, like the same. It's from the same stock with the scale is, and you just do this little like a straight little thing with the holes, and then you like mill it out like you not mill it out, you grind it out like into the pocket clip shape. And I, I love how it looks. It and especially when I did the same pattern. How does it carry? Do you like do you carry this one in the pocket like regular? It. It's, 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 it's heavy, but it carries nice. Yeah, it holds the pocket, holds it pretty well. It is really nice job on this press fitted stamp stat, and again the same construction like I just talked about not so long ago. The so we have the stop in in the open is the actual thumb stat, and then in the closed position the stop in this stop in, you know, touches on your this front kind of like a finger choil that's a beefy for they're really nicely made they like it a lot killer lead is like smooth rock solid actually really smooth mm. flips open nicely and I like we talked about the lockup I really like the the way he did the, his log interface it's like it's not the one radius but it actually looks like it's like kind of like a straight with just a little angle and then it kind of radiuses in which I like because so you have a full lockup very very secure lockup right there but then you still have that all that space to travel over with the slight radius so it's gonna like 
it's not gonna go all the way in real quick but you already have a super solid lockup like a you know like a full engagement so it's not gonna be just you know one of those like uh, like that you know it's not gonna be one of those but it's already nice and solid you can really use it heavily does he he just uses regular washers right yeah yeah it's, okay. it's nicely man I noticed that when you have like a lot of heft in the blade it's easier to yeah because yeah you have the mass so once you give it the momentum it, it helps yeah but it it bro it has a broke bro breaking in time you know he told me that when I oh, get it, it wasn't when that it, smooth yeah, it wasn't and that I was smooth. flicking so the log bar wore in a little bit and it broke in and I think now it's like you know where it should be yeah I think a lot of the breaking in is also the the detent ball has to like clean the channel the like little channel yeah, that it makes here stone washed yeah exactly washed. exactly and also the washers needs to like smooth out and everything it's a, it's a, man i just hope that my frame lock is gonna work like this or like you know open and nice with the push over time and stuff like that i have like this such a fear <laughs> from it we'll see hopefully now I hope that it even I will even be able to put it together when it comes first. <laughs> it's gonna be a big, big challenge for me. Sebastian loves this. <laughs> the Batman knife. Yeah, Batman knife. You used to like it, then you didn't like it no, so I much, right? I have one, and then, like I never just felt like I was afraid to use it and pull it out. I don't know. Maybe you're you know, a big fan of the Socoms. Yeah, I love the Socom. You had like three or four two, at two, one two, point, no? No, just only two. You never had more than that? You, I know you no. saw. I have the, I have the one of the the deltas. I had two Socoms in a delta. Oh, that's different. The delta is like yeah, this is the G10 with the. I always thought that it's like a Socom Elite and Socom Delta. So now it's actually just Microtech Delta and Microtech Microsoft Socom Elite. Yeah. Oh, okay. Actually, I always thought maybe, it's like maybe it is actually. I always thought it's like the same knife and it just the uh, like one is Tanto, so that's actually, called yeah, Elite and one is I think you're right. Delta. I don't know. I think you're right, but yeah. But so you did have you had like two of those and one of the one of the yeah, other one. Yeah. They were they're really good knives too. They're just a little too plain for me and kinda big. Those the so They're big? When you when they're open or closed? Open, open. When they're open they're pretty large. They have like almost four inch blades. Mind if it's like if it's closed in my yeah, But thinking, you know me, I'm, my I'm a small knife like, guy. Yeah, but if it's like you don't mind when it's big closed, this one is very big when it's closed. You know, you know what is for me the main thing is like when I open it and when I hold the knife, I don't want this big, big aggressive looking blade, you know, sticking out. That's a small it's aggressive looking that's blade. No, no, aggressive that's no, that's 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 small. You know, if you consider this a small little blade sticking out, you know, that's that okay. in real. You know what I mean, no? Like, I know, I know. Exactly. In reality, that's not what, really. What's the, what's the that's not it's really. Like you don't want to scare people. Yeah, exactly. Or? Yeah, exactly. Because until now, well, you that's know, a pretty scary looking knife, with it right? There. Not if you don't. Looks let to me. It looks to me more scary than than this one, even if it's much. No, not if you don't. If you, if they don't see this, you know, if you just open, because don't forget, like my job until now was a lot of offices, a lot of schools, and that stuff, and I open boxes okay. right there on the job, so. You know, if you don't let them see the overall knife, that doesn't look that scary, you know, that's just a small little knife. You know, not really in reality, not any different than, you know, like Griptilian. But if you, you know, like this in a sense is a similar knife, similar size knife, but you hold this and now look like right there what you're presenting to them. You're presenting that and that, you know, that's kind of like the point. As long as you don't show them the whole thing, that <laughs> looks like Batman knife. <laughs> You know, all they see is this, it's not that scary. I mean, it's not like, not very often I, I cut stuff open in front of people, but you know, sometimes it, I want to be that like s situation aware, I would say. Yeah, I, I feel you. Plus the small the knife, the lighter it is, and with all the shit that I carry. <laughs> How do you like that? I really, honestly, I like the way you did it because you know you already rig riding you you took off that edge or whatever what was the burned up the mm. and now it's nice stone wash like this you did like it even f as as it came now you I mean, you said you did it came, like it. I, I did but i i don't think i would ever pay pay for it as much as it's, as it's much as it is yeah. but right now like if this one I like, but to buy a new one, you know, like if I buy a new one, I would need to bring you and make it like this, you know. And that's <laughs> that's again, like you know, not everybody can do that, and you know, yeah. it's kind of that edge is not everybody can just like you know regrind it or, or sharpen it down. And this is one of those I mean? big debates. Nice, like 
it's expensive but actually even like in all honesty even if I wouldn't love this this would be one of the knives that I kinda can understand that it, why is it so expensive because this isn't anymore this isn't just like uh, so let's say like Spyderco salad right that's one of the knives that I think it's kinda pricey for what it is yeah. But this, yeah, this is even more money, but at the same time this has something like, you know, you're not paying for the name, you're paying for the freaking machining in it. Yeah. So there's like, I kind of can understand the price. It's not many integral knives are all Yeah, there. exactly. Like, that's the only one I know from the factory and there is only few custom knife makers who do them, right? So I can kind of understand actually the pricing on this, but you know, to argue or like to discuss the pricing of some other knives, like some spider so there is a spider new one there is a spider co chaparral with titanium handles like the it has some fancy titanium handle mm -hmm. that is like 360 bucks or something like that really expensive ctx H xhp steel so there you have a just and it's regular it's not integral just regular titanium with like nice kind of funky pattern on it yeah. but two side two sided scales like regular and like you know high end steel but not like crazy high end and the same money as this so for me i mean there is no brain you know you pick integral yeah but that's like but I, I think about different thing i mean you you know you know what you're doing and you can regrind it and make it but how can somebody who doesn't like me if i buy the oh, knife and i can regrind i can oh yeah. somebody doesn't even wake it this, actually like, just, this was actually just like just outcome of that overheated edge. I, it, I wasn't buying it like knowing that I want to regrind it. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I, I generally know, I don't want to regrind four hundred dollar knife or three hundred dollar knives. I generally try to you know keep them as pristine as like I use them, but it's not like I don't want to modify them because they always you know no matter who you are you know I'm not some I'm not like uh, who's doing who's like famous for regrinds. It's, that's crane. crane. Crane yeah. is doing regrinds, right? Like I'm not the crane that if I regrind a knife, the knife actually gains value. Most of the time, when I regrind the knife, it just loses value. <laughs> Here's a nice titanium knife that's just much cheaper, correct? Yeah, that's actually, dude. The price on this is actually pretty damn nice. I mean, I'm not crazy about it now. When I own it, I will probably sell it. But man, for what is it, 130 dollars, I think. What you getting is a pretty damn cool knife. This is nice. I still want to get the. I'm, I'm regretting that I didn't buy that uh, mini bullseye you had from you. It was such a beautiful knife. The actual, or if you guys remember, Sebastian had the actual or custom mini bullseye from Salmon Arrow. He won uh, last year in the show. Yeah. Or it was this spring actually. This yeah. this year spring, right? Yeah. Yeah. There was such a beautiful knife. It's, really long. it's expensive, but huh? long one for me. Yeah. Yeah. Long. I w I was very tempted, but I wanted. It's a lot of money. It is. I mean, now I would, I would probably get it because I know that I, if I didn't, I would regret it. But just like, like right now, I know that I, re I am regretting not, by, not getting it. Because it's one of the nice that, if you take care of it in a way, you don't really ruin it. You can always get the money back down the road. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah, if you don't really like ruin it, ruin it. You know, you put some scratches on it. Just general use. You know. It depends on the luck too, you know, I have knives that I've used so hard, so harsh, and they don't have scratches. But then you, you cut one stupid cardboard box that has some, some sh there's some thing. shit in that cardboard grain sometimes, and it just scratched the crap out of a blade. Which one is it? Oh, the, my CKC. That knife I use so much and so hard, and there are actually no scratches on the blade. It still looks just the way it came from Kylie, you know, the nice sunny finish. Because you don't care if you put scratch and then you get the scratch. <laughs> right, that's, I well, that's true, and the knife when that I, you I, care that doesn't I get... I don't want to scratch some knife, I scratch it in my pocket with like, yeah. I don't even know. It's funny, and I use, I cut such a stuff that you guys wouldn't believe with that knife. Damn, I just remember, this knife opened a can on a video, and there is not a single scratch on it. And I cut like plastic stuff in the work, plastic moldings and plastic zip ties, cables. I cut so many things with it, and there's no scratches. And then you have a nice like like this knife. I I use hard, but it's only like the regular cutting, like cardboard, and it's scratched beyond recognition. But it's a coating, so the coating will always show it a little more. Put some personality on it. 
very rare Sebastian carries his Yojimbo one of only four he has <laughs> <laughs> still my still my favorite EDC knife yeah. is it? yeah it used to be used to be this one and then replay that one replaced this one and I still put maybe one day in a week this one in the park but that one's gonna be like six days <laughs> it's gonna be all the time and being like how long like I don't even know it's more than two, two is one and one is none so Sebastian just yeah. moves the numbers three yeah. is three is none and four is one <laughs> it is a really good knife I like your gym boss for me it's the paramilitary too because I just like the blade shape a little better more more functional but in a sense it's a you know it's kind of same knife same I honestly I don't use I don't use my knife so hard and like most of the hard is like a, I cut like you know a box up and or yeah, zip tie yeah, yeah. and that's that, you know that's the reality of most of people. envelopes and I love the tip for opening that's, the envelopes. That's it's just true. Makes perfect. Yeah, you can see it on like even I notice on my knives, all of my knives the first thing the tip gets dull the most or like the first half an inch that just gets dull so quickly. That's the thing that I have to touch up the most. The rest of the blade, all it really needs is just drop it. But the tip, like I, I see, and especially the tip is.